Hi, and welcome to Ka Creations, a podcast about knitting and um, books I've read, and things I'm interested in. For today, it's um, a shameless self-promotion day in that my patterns are posted on Fleece and Harmony. Woohoo! So I get to um, show you a lot of what I've been working on that I haven't been able to show you in a while. So that's why we're spread out here in my dining room where I have tons of room to show everything. For new viewers, I am Cheryl Can on Instagram and Ravelry and Cog Creations for my designs. Um, my designs are available on Ravelry as well as through Fleece and Harmony um, online and at their shop in Belfast, Prince Edward Island. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I'm glad you've returned. So, need a drink. So grab your cuppa. I hope you have a cuppa. I just have um, coffee today. I needed coffee. Stayed up last night playing with InDesign. Um, so I have coffee with chocolate almond milk in it because I needed a little bit of chocolate. Now that I think about it, I should have put my coca mix in it from Caitlin at the farmer's market. Maybe I'll go do that and I'll come back. Okay, well, let's get started. I can show you some uh, whips. Uh, my finished objects are all out at Fleece and Harmony. I'm going out there later today, so at the end of the video, I will show you pictures of the shop. I'll do a little video of the shop as well as show you some of my finished objects there. Okay, so the patterns that have been posted are the um, hat shawl, the happy shawl as they liked it. Um, I have one that I finished in beach blanket, I think it's the colorway. Um, I love the colorway. It's the it's a whole bunch of colors and then it's kind of bled over by the color of Prince Edward Island beach sand. So uh, I really love that colorway and that's in a worsted weight yarn. I'm also working on the shawl in a fingering weight because the group does fingering weight as well. What I love about this half shawl is that the inside, I wanted to do a simple pattern so it's all just garter stitch and it's so soft and squishy. And um, this is their strawberry field color. And I think the colors are fairly true today. I've got natural light here. That's why I came down here. The red is the hardest. The reds are the hardest ones to get the true colors on them. Um, but I love, love, love this pattern. Um, and it was really thick and squishy and worsted. And it makes a bit of a lighter fabric in the fingering, but I still like it. I can't wait till I block it. I think it'll get a lot bigger. So I'm doing the strawberry fields in the center. Uh, this is my second skein of the strawberry fields. And then around the edge, I'm gonna use the rhubarb, which is, as you can see, it's less tonal and a little bit darker. What I love about Fleece and Harmony yarns is that the tones, um, the tones you see in the fabric are, are just wonderful once you knit it up. So I've got some pine cone. It, it will, um, it's one of my favorites. It's in their signature collection, the pine cone and the colors, the tones and different colors of brown in their pine cone is stunning in the socks that I've got done. Um, my sock pattern won't be posted until later in the year, so I'm not going to go on about those. Um, so the half shawl was the first one. I also have a squall scarf. It is just a one skein scarf. Um, it's uh, based on the feather and fan pattern, but a little bit different with just one repeat across. Um, it's a $1 pattern. The half shawl is an $8 pattern. Um, and I'll show a picture of the squall scarf when I get out there. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen it a while ago. I had Molly, my dog, model it. It was also in beach blanket, so it was beautiful against her black fur, so that's why I had her model it. The third pattern is the zigzag lace baby cardigan, and it's a really fun little pattern because you can, it's a top-down knit. You can make it in short sleeves or long sleeves. Um, so 
I, I really enjoy it. It's one of my favorite patterns. And God love Jennifer. She's the dyer at Fleece and Harmony. I said, well, I want something that kind of has a background color and speckles all the colors in your baby boo because their baby boo yarn, oh my, it's made all of lamb's wool. And it feels a bit scritchy when you work when you get it and start working with it and as soon as you soak it in wool wash it just seems to puff right up it soaks in everything so after you're done knitting with it, it puffs right up and it's so soft it's still 100 percent wool sustainably raised um oh it's just so squishy i just love it uh anyway this this um, baby cardigan in the zigzag lace is really cute has pico edging on the collar i'll put a picture here and again you'll see a bunch of them in the store when i go down there what else am i doing oh um so i don't know if any of you watch the yarn hoarder but she recommended tags by green deep and of course you know me, I can't see something and not try it, especially when I'm actually making things for a shop now. So I've got their wool tag. Oops, helps if you put it right side up. And their take care tag. And they are, look wonderful on my items. I have um, also got them to put my Ka Creations logo on a tag so this is going to be the corner on the bottom of my um, tags and just love the people at green deep i sent a message and asked them what they suggested and i just love the suggestions they've made especially when i'm doing local local and sustainable types of patterns. I love to have the nice um, Canadian, support another Canadian company for my tags, so that was great. The other thing that I'm doing are kits, all sourced from Prince Edward Island, from um, all Prince Edward Island makers, and it's gonna be a kit for the baby cardigan. Now I'm going out this afternoon to talk to them at Fleece and Harmony about the kits. Um, but the neat thing is I've got buttons from a local leather worker and stitch markers that she's made or well she that she cut out for me with um, little things on them. But the leather is so light. I find sometimes stitch markers with beads are heavy on light um, light work. So these are nice so the three buttons and the stitch marker will come in the kit along with a bag made by um, a, a local bag maker, Joyce. And Joyce was so kind as to put my tags on the bags and they're tags from Labelicious. And uh, I just love them. This is in Prince Edward Island Tartan and it says Prince Edward Island on it. And this one is just a seahorse bag with Prince Edward Island on it. And these are going to be available through Fleece and Harmony, as well as I'm hoping on my Etsy shop in a few days. Um, anyway, hopefully shortly after this is posted. But you can see there's lots of options for bags. And again, it says Prince Edward Island on the front of it. The nice thing, these bags are, they have the zippers in them and they're quilted with a different lining on the inside. So they don't have the interfacing that they stand up but they're, they're really a great bag. You can fit two skeins of yarn and your pattern and extra notions bag really easily in these bags. And even if you make the big pattern of the baby um, zigzag lace cardigan, you won't need any more than two skeins of yarn. Harris Leatherworks in Prince Edward Island. She's making, as I said, these buttons for me. She's also a beautiful worker. This is for my laptop. I take my MacBook around in this and she just put the um, front etching and there's a little bit of etching on the back. But this wears like anything. I've had this for two years, no, one year, 
and I've had this for one year and it just looks brand new still and it's just perfect for throwing my laptop and going wherever I need to go. It helps if you remember everything. So I'm going to try this again. Um, I wanted to talk about these bags my friend Michelle is making. They fit my entire lap afghan, the Gavin's blanket that I'm working on. Um, I've talked about Gavin's blanket before. It's been on my needles for a number of years. I have eight skeins of the Knit Picks Dishy that I'm working with. It's 100% cotton and worsted weight. And it's the Clementine 25403 colorway. Um, and I have nine skeins of yarn in this bag along with the actual afghan that I'm knitting. So it's a nice large knitting bag and she put the heavy interfacing on it so that it'll stand up like a basket for me which is great. And what I love about it is she used four different fat quarters. So as you can see with this one, we've got owls and we've got a little chipmunk eating his, his nuts. And oh, it's just so cute. Some hedgehogs and some raccoons. And then on this side, we've got the red fox and the bear. And she's got the green so close, I didn't even notice it was different fat quarters until I got looking at it. And then inside we've got animals on one side, and we've got more animals in circles on the other side, but with a different background. And as I said, there's eight skeins of yarn and an afghan in there with tons of room for anything else you want to put in there. So that is a perfect size bag. Yeah, so what's been going on? I um, posted my entry today to uh, go into the Women's Institute um, local exhibition to put a couple of my knitting patterns. Um, I'm thinking one afghan and a couple of my knitting projects will go in there. So I'm, I'm excited, a little bit scared about that. I also, my husband and I are going on a road trip um, August 7th to the 11th. I'm looking forward to that, so that'll be kind of fun. Um, nice to take a bit of a break. I've been working really hard getting all this stuff out, plus working full time. And then I start teaching again in September, so it's, uh, it's going to be busy. My box of socks, because my box of socks is woefully inadequate right now. It's just, bleh. I have one sock. I have a whole bunch of pairs in there, so I'm hoping to get other socks in there. Yeah, so that's about it. I'm uh, reading a couple of good books, but I haven't finished either of them, so I'm not going to talk about any books right now. My book club met yesterday to pick books for next year, and I couldn't go. I had a migraine, so. Um, but I trust them. They'll pick good books, because they've, they've picked some good ones in the past. So, so that'll be good. And... Um, Anything but um chocolate. Knit alongs. So I like your sweater knit along. It's still going on. Um I think it goes till October 20th is what we put. on, uh, and, and I'm I've I've got both my iron heart and my gingerbread kind of in the last little bit to do. I all I have for my Take heart sweater is the yoke, and all I have for the gingerbread is the bottom. Well, a bit more for the gingerbread because I've got the bottom rib and the two arms because it's knit top down, whereas the take heart is knit bottom up and you knit the arms. I knit the arms as my as my um, swatch, and I really like doing that. Um, so I think that's about it. I'm heading out to Fleece and Harmony this afternoon, so I'm going to take a video while I'm out there so you can see the shop. And if you ever get to PEI, you have to check it out. It's, it's a really great little shop. Um, anyway, happy knitting and um, enjoy your summer. Talk to you soon. Bye.